Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to this course. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how to use React Router and set it up with a navbar for Material UI in Electron. By the end of this, we have gonna be we're gonna have set up this cool little navbar right here, which is pretty basic. It's gonna take us to our home page and our anime list page that we're gonna create and display all of anime for. And we're also gonna learn how to set up minimum and uh, minimum width and minimum height for our actual app. So if I bring this all the way down to let's say I'm going to bring it down to 348 and I'm going to bring this down all up to 452 and we're also going to talk about how to set up the sampler icons and then we can also click on buttons through there so without further ado let's go ahead and get started all right so the last time we left off on this project we were looking at our app looking a little janky like this we had set up our icons and our fonts and everything like that so the first thing we need to talk about is how to set up folder structure for this application so the way that we're going to treat our folder structure is going to be pretty simple. It's going to be pretty uh, common to how we make React apps. We're going to treat our source folder as our main hub. And inside of there, we're going to have our renderer. And this is where all of our components and our pages and everything are going to go. So I'm going to right click in renderer and create a new folder. This is where my components are going to go. And then I'm going to create another folder inside of renderer and call pages. This is where all of my individual pages that I can route to are going to go. So let's say for my components, we need to create one component today, which is going to be navbar.tsx. Now for our pages, we're going to have to create two different pages. We need an initial home.tsx, and we're going to need an anime list.tsx. Now eventually we'll combine them together, but for the purposes of this tutorial, we need to separate them out. Just so we have some ways of knowing that our navigation is working. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're just going to add some simple component text just to show our home and anime list differentiation. I don't know if that's a word or not, but I just made it up. Uh, so I'll do export, uh, call it anime list. Oops, let's do export function anime list. And we'll do uh, return. And we'll add a simple div tag with the title of h1 that says anime list page and then in the bottom here I'll just type in this is the anime list page perfect and I'll just go ahead and copy this and paste it inside of here and let's just change this to be home like so perfect alrighty so the next thing that we're going to talk about is going to be building out our nav bar now our nav bar is going to be a little bit more freaky deaky uh, it's going to take a little bit more time to do. It can be a little bit more complicated, but I'll do my best to explain it to you as easy as I possibly can. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to create a export function called navbar. And inside of here, what we're going to do is we're going to add a return statement like so. Now, what we're going to do is we need to find a way to make this navbar work with a hamburger icon. So at a certain breakpoint, that hamburger icon appears and then we can open a drawer and click on our links from there. And if it's big enough, then it should show our links right up here. So the way that we're going to do that is going to be, is going to have to do with some use state variables and some uh, material UI media query breakpoints. So what I'll do is I'm going to create a use state variable called const drawer open and set drawer open is equal to use state and we'll set it to be initially as false. Now let me go ahead and import this from React. And after that, I'll do const theme is equal to use theme from emotion react. And then I think it's not emotion. I think it's something else. Let's use, yeah, let's leave it as emotion. We'll figure it out from there. And then I'll do const is mobile. So I'll check if it's on mobile version is equal to use media query theme dot breakpoints is it giving breakpoints it does not give me breakpoints so what i'll do is let's get rid of this theme oops let's get rid of this theme and media query and what we'll do is we'll just import it straight from material ui right there and we'll import this from material ui as well and so now we should have theme dot breakpoints there we go and I'll do down, so if it goes below small, 
we're going to trigger is mobile which should ideally display our hamburger icon and after that i'm going to create a small function that's just going to toggle back and forth between drawer open and closed so the const toggle drawer is equal to open give it a boolean as a parameter arrow function and then i'll do set drawer open to be just open so it can switch back and forth between whether it's true or false all right so next thing we're going to do is we are going to create our individual menu items so we can click and go in between our links on click of those menu items so what i'll do is i'll create a variable called const menu items is equal to curly braces and i'll give it empty brackets like that and instead of that, i'm going to give it a couple of nav links so we'll do nav link from react router dom and then inside of there i'll give it a icon button from material ui and inside of there i'll just give it typography from material ui and for the first one we'll just call it home and this is missing a couple of parameters so i'm just going to quickly copy and paste the parameters that i have so i can save some time and i'll explain what they are all about so the first one is going to be where it's going to go to get rid of it exact we don't need that the active class name and then we have our styles cool so after that what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and copy this paste it and this one is going to go to if i'm not mistaken we'll call it anime dash list and then let's go ahead and get rid of these active class names we don't need that at all and we'll change this to be anime list save it and now we need to fill in our return statement all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to give it empty brackets like that and we need to first create an app bar thankfully material ui comes in handy comes with a clutch it has a app bar component already made and inside of there it's going to take a parameter and we're going to give a parameter to be position equal to fixed and it's bugging out on me oh it's just a pr prettier issue never mind uh so after that what we're going to do is we're going to give it another parameter called toolbar and inside of there we're going to decide whether or not we are in a mobile screen size or not or a smaller screen size or not so firstly what we need to do is we need to add the icon name for our app so what i'll do is i'll add some typography and then inside of there, I'll give it the name Electron Anime App. Well, we decided to call it Electron Any Anime List. There we go. And so after that, what I'll do is I'll do curly braces. We're going to check if it is, if is mobile is equal to true. If it is, then we're going to display our hamburger icon. And then we can... Well, we're going to display a drawer basically uh, so what i'll do is i'll add some empty braces and then after that i'll do icon button and i'll give it something called menu icon don't worry we'll import this right now well in a bit uh, then i'll do drawer for material ui and then after that i'll do list and for the list we'll give it list item for material ui and we're just going to give it the variable menu items there we go import it from material ui perfect and we need to import menu icons so this is going to come from react icons and the one that i decided to go with was the well let's go with the actual hamburger looking icon that's more fun so i'll do import fa hamburger from react icons slash fa remember so we just have to toggle the first two letters right and so here to talk and import this from the package and so we're going to import it right there perfect and then finally if all else we're just going to display menu items like so perfect all right so basically my eslint is bugging out really bad but Nevertheless, what we're going to do now is we are going to basically import our navbar 
into our app.tsx file. So I'm going to open up my app.tsx file and let's just go ahead and just clear out. Let's go to this hello function. We don't need that. And let's go ahead and clear out our router. We don't need that either. And so what I'll do is I'm going to import router again. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to give it something called CSS. Baseline for material UI, oops, with a self closing brace. And then after that, I'm going to import navbar from our components. And then after that, I'll give it div and then routes. And then our first route, which was the path is equal to slash element is equal to home with a self closing brace like so perfect and all i'll do is i'll just copy this twice so our first one is home let's import it and the second one is going to be our anime list and this is going to be going to anime let me double check what it was it was anime dash list there we go make it look a little bit more prettier and now it is exploding on us. It is saying that FA hamburger does not exist because we need to put it in one of those squiggly braces, like so. There we go. All right, so the reason our drawer isn't working is pretty simple. We actually haven't even told our code that we want our drawer to open on the click of the hamburger icon. And the way that we can do that is pretty simple. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is, for my icon button right here, I'm gonna give it an on-click parameter with a function call that is going to toggle our drawer and it's going to just basically say true and then where is our oh this is for anime list oops let's put it for our icon there we go our fa hamburger and for this what we're going to do is we're going to give it a parameter of open so how does it know when open it's going to be listening for the drawer open variable and basically on click we're going to actually close it so what i'll do is i'll do the exact same thing as we did up there so we toggle drawer and we'll set it to be false like so and so now if i test it out you can see that it's working click it click it away and it is navigating properly in between the routes all right let's go ahead and style this bad boy because this is looking horrendous right now so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some styling for my topography for my electron anime list title right here. I'm going to give it a variant of H6 and an SX of flex scroll like so. Oops. There we go. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to give my menu icons, my menu icon, a color of inherit so it pushes it all the way to the, sorry, it Colors it, it colors it white, and it also gets pushed all the way to the other side. Perfect. And the next thing is, let's go ahead and actually move our drawer. We want to anchor it to go to the right. So now it should open on the right side. There we go. And I can click in between my two links. Perfect. And so now finally, the last thing we need to do is we need to tell our app that it can only have a certain minimum width and a minimum height. And to do that, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go into my, my main, oh, right, my main.ts file. And if you scroll down a little bit, you're gonna see this thing called create window, this function. Inside of there, there's this thing called main window is equal to browser window. This is where we can actually add our minimum and height and width. So what I'll do is min height, and we're gonna do, let's say, 720 pixels and for our min width we'll do something like 480 and if you save it it's going to restart our app i'm just going to quickly drag it into the frame right here get rid of this inspect tool and so now we can see that it goes up to minimum of 480 and a max minimum of 720 pixels pretty cool huh and you can also see our navigation works properly perfect and so that concludes this tutorial and the next one we're actually going to be talking about how to pull data from the jacanmo api and just simply display it we're not going to do anything major with it just to 
see some anime, and we're going to be using React Query eventually to be able to cache it and learn how to do it with that. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Be sure to come back for the next one, and if you liked it, be sure to subscribe and like the video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace. Thank you.